Hey, this is Awais with Open Trader, and this is the market analysis and outlook video for Wednesday, October 3rd. Now, in our last video, the main idea that we discussed was that there weren't any uh, major economic reports out in the next couple of days that were going to serve as a catalyst for a directional move in the S&P. So we were expecting a balanced environment for the next few days, and that video was shot on Monday. And the main idea that we discussed was to look for long opportunities in the 1435 area all the way down to 1428 and then as price moved higher and balanced within this range look for selling opportunities as we get uh, closer to 1453 and uh, any higher would be looking for shorts and uh, we can see that that's kind of how it's played out right anytime the s p has uh, dropped below 1434 1435 it has found responsive buyers in the market uh, yesterday we dropped down to 1432 quarter it was quickly rejected and we got this nice up move into the close and uh, then today this morning we can see that 1435 half uh, was the low of day and we got a nice push up to 1448.75 which was the area of acceptance the VPOC from Monday's session and this attracted responsive sellers so looking at the economic calendar, we can see that there wasn't really any major economic catalyst in the first three days of the week. And the S&P simply balanced and auctioned within a range, right? As soon as we got close to 1435, it found buyers who pushed it up. As it got close to 1450, it found sellers and they pushed it back down. Now heading into the next two days, we do have a couple of economic catalysts that we're looking at to push the S&P either above this range, towards the top of the range, or push it down below 1428. So let's take a look at the charts. Okay. So we can see that right now, the two charts that we're working with, we have heavy acceptance at 1453 and heavy acceptance at 1428. And uh, right now, S&P is simply uh, balancing within those two distributions. So. The next economic catalyst that we have is uh, FOMC minutes out tomorrow afternoon. And the big one is the jobs number or the employment report out Friday morning. So the expectation over the next day or so is for the S&P to continue balancing within a range and then make a directional push either towards 67 to 69 on the upside or down towards 28 and below on the downside so right now it's really uh, you know you want to avoid taking trades in the middle of the range uh, the bias is going to remain bullish above 35 but really the best trades are going to be at the edges of this range so the best trades we can see have been close to 1435 on the downside and then close to 1450 53 on the upside so very nice shorting opportunities near the upper end of the range and nice buying opportunities towards the bottom of the range. And uh, that's really the idea for the next day or so. And then Friday, uh, we're gonna see if we can make a directional push and get some directional conviction in the market. So uh, we're hoping that uh, the employment report will serve as a catalyst for the move and uh, we'll actually break out of this uh, 15, 20 point range that we've been in for the last few days. So that's the main idea um, again, the focus is to avoid getting chopped up in the middle and entering uh, trades at the edges of the range. As long as you're doing that, there's good reward to risk at the edges of the range. All right, guys, we will update you again um, within a couple of days. Any comments, questions, feedback, please uh, post it on the blog and uh, we'll answer any questions either in our next video or right there on the blog.